DJI Mini 4 Pro Review. The best lightweight drone gains more power and smarts last year. DJI showed what was possible in a small drone with the Mini 3 Pro by fitting tons of technology and a high-quality camera into a sub-250 gram drone. Following that up was never going to be easy, but now, after numerous leaks, it's unveiled the Mini 4 Pro with a long list of new features. Aside from one improvement, the camera is largely the same. However, it has new omnidirectional obstacle sensors that eliminate the blind spots on the Mini 3 Pro. It also comes with a new feature called Active Track 360 that lets you program camera moves when tracking a subject. Small drones are the best way to track fast-paced action, as they're maneuverable and less prone to damage when crashing. With all the improvements, the Mini 4 Pro is better and safer at that than its predecessor, at least on paper. Now, let's find out if it lives up to that in the real world. The Mini 4 Pro is still under 250 grams so it can be flown without a license or registration in many regions, but it has subtle design changes all around. The four forward and rear-facing sensors are now placed so that they can see to the sides as well, and the body is a bit more streamlined. It has larger cooling vents, slightly smaller rear arms and new landing feet at the front. The camera, gimbal shield is smaller and easier to put on, and it has a new guard that protects the propellers when it's stored. As before, the gimbal tilts up 60 degrees and down 90, and the camera flips 90 degrees to give you full vertical resolution for social media. At the rear is a micro SD port, and the Mini 4 Pro has 2 GB of internal storage for emergencies. The Mini 4 Pro comes with one of two controllers, the basic RCN2 that requires a smartphone, and the RC2 with a built-in screen. Since it uses DJI's new OCUSYNC4 transmission, first introduced with the Air 3, it only works with the new controllers and not the older models, for now, anyway. You can buy it with a $55 ND filter set for sunny days, which I'd recommend if you can afford it. DJI also offers a wide-angle 18mm equivalent lens attachment, $40, but it has significant barrel distortion and can cause focus issues. The drone also supports DJI's LightCut, an editing app that lets you generate quick videos for social media. As DJI says, it allows one-tap generation of captivating videos by merging active track, master shots, and quick shots footage, while automating sound effects and more. It also works wirelessly, so there's no need to download footage to your smartphone. It only works with the new controllers and not the older models, for now, anyway. You can buy it with a $55 ND filter set for sunny days, which I'd recommend if you can afford it. DJI also offers a wide-angle 18mm equivalent lens attachment, $40, but it has significant barrel distortion and can cause focus issues. The drone also supports DJI's LightCut, an editing app that lets you generate quick videos for social media. As DJI says, it allows one-tap generation of captivating videos by merging active track, master shots, and quick shots footage, while automating sound effects and more. It also works wirelessly so there's no need to download footage to your smartphone. The sensors are visual, so they don't work in dim light. And dense forest with fine branches is a no-go. The Omni sensors can miss those, but the propellers won't. Finally, the Mini 4 Pro detects obstacles best when traveling forward, less so when going sideways, and worst of all when flying backwards. It did work around well-spaced trees with thick branches and plenty of leaves, near buildings and generally around well-defined obstacles. It was able to maneuver around those, choose decent routes and reacquire subjects if they disappeared. That helped me capture some nice action footage, though one should always remain wary of accidents. Active Track 360 adds camera moves to the usual subject tracking to create dramatic shots. It looks confusing at first, but the idea is pretty simple. You use the so-called steering wheel to draw a route on concentric circles, and the drone will follow it, ducking any obstacles it encounters. You can change parameters including the inner and outer radius, inner and outer height, camera speed and ground proximity. That makes it possible to get a wide variety.